Here's my new Fusion 360 design for the Boeing 737. This time I am working from the inside out. As I come to each part of the design, it's going to be refined to ensure that it all fits together as planned. Here you can see the heart of the sim, the MIP, also known as the main instrument panel. The first part to create is the MIP backboard using the CNC machine and 5mm ply covered with a polyester finish. And here it is, the finished article in all its entirety. The seven faceplates now shown by Fusion 360 require creating on the CNC machine. It's now time for the fun part. Everything is created, painted and ready for assembly. Here I'm installing the gear lever face panel. For simplicity, I'm simply mounting the gear lever direct to the panel. This is why I'm drilling these two new holes through the panel. A quick test of the gear lever to make sure there's no interference. I tried to reuse as many of the old MIP components as possible. I'm having to snip all the wires from the old MIP to remove the components. This will mean fully rewiring the new MIP from scratch. You can see here that the old MIP screens had perspex behind them, but this time I'm going to miss them out, just like the real aircraft, and just use the monitor screens as the face panel. On the landing gear panel, I'm having to file out the enunciators to create the sharp corners so the enunciators themselves will fit in. About to fit the top blank here. Normally there'd be a third instrument here to stand by AI, but because I've only got a 14 inch monitor which covers this section here, the monitor doesn't go up high enough to make the third instrument. And the reason why I can't make it go higher or get a bigger monitor is because this panel, all its electronics guts behind it would interfere with the monitor. So I've gone for a smaller monitor and we'll just blank off the spare spot with the blank. And once again, I can't go all the way through, especially on these two here with nuts and bolts. I have to make them captive because as the bolts extended through the rear, they would damage the monitor. So here's good.